Oh man, here we go again. Yes, Cyberpunk 2077 has been delayed again. Hey everyone, what's happening? Open world games here. I'm not going to waste your time. Let's just get straight into this news right now. So this is official news from the Cyberpunk 2077 team. They go on to say this. Hey everyone, today we've decided to move the release date of Cyberpunk 2077 by 21 days. The new release date is December 10th. Most likely there are many emotions and questions in your head, so first and foremost, please accept our humble apologies. They go on to say this, the biggest challenge for us right now is shipping the game on current gen, next gen, and PC at the same time, which requires us to prepare and test nine versions of it, Xbox One X, compatibility on Xbox S and X, PS4 and PS4 Pro, compatibility on PS5, PC Stadia, etc while working from home. Since Cyberpunk 2077 evolved towards almost being a next-gen title somewhere along the way, we need to make sure everything works well and every version runs smoothly. We're aware it might seem unrealistic when someone says that 21 days can make any difference in such a massive and complex game, but they really do. Furthermore, they say this, some of you might also be wondering what these words mean in light of us saying we achieved a gold master some time ago. Passing certification or going gold means the game is ready, can be completed, and has all the content in it. But it doesn't mean we stop working on it and raising the quality bar. On the contrary, this is the time where many improvements are being made, which will then be distributed via a day zero patch. This is the time period we undercalculated. We feel we have an amazing game on our hands and are willing to make every decision, even the hardest ones, if it ultimately leads to you getting a video game you'll fall in love with. Yours, Adam Iwaski and Marcin Iwaski. So there you have it. There's the news. It's official. It's been delayed to December 10th. So let me know how you all feel about this one. I'm sure many of you have taken time off from work. I've seen uh, some people joking about that on the community forums and elsewhere so yeah that's rough and uh, you're gonna have to move uh, your sick days <laughs> but uh, yeah let me know what you make of this one but yeah with uh things going on around the world as they are you guys know what i'm talking about um this makes sense and i want a game that's super polished at launch i don't want to experience a game that's uh, having a horrible launch we've been through way too many of those games and false promises and you know going through uh, those rough launches. I don't want that for Cyberpunk 2077 at all. And if this uh, delay alleviates that from happening, then CD Projekt Red, do your thing. Uh, I'm going to root for you and I can wait another 21 days. We've been already waiting eight years or something like that. So yeah, we could wait a little bit longer. Uh, now, a lot of you guys are wondering about the frame rate on consoles. And that was asked by Sneaky Snake, who says, to be honest, I'm wondering about the frame rate and how it looks on consoles. And this was the response from Marson Moment of CD Projekt Red, who says, it, run it runs fine, excuse me. We'll be sharing more on that in the near future. Winking smiley face. So yeah, they have some reassurances out there that, you know, it's going to look good on all platforms. And that's their goal. That's They want to release a game that they're extremely proud of. You guys know CD Projekt Red and all their works have been super impressive. They uh, have their name attached to, the, to this and they know that. And I get the hint that they have a sense of pride with everything they do and it really shows in uh, i think this delay here that they really want to make sure that they nail it uh now we do have some other news here that i wanted to go over with you guys real quick dan's gaming says will you guys have a streamer mode option to mute copyrighted music that is licensed for the game so content creators don't get in dmcas or takedowns and um this was the response from the official Cyberpunk account. He says, we'll share more details in the near future. What's good though, our soundtrack has been created from scratch. This includes all tracks from the numerous artists we work with. Their music has been made specifically for our game, making this a bit smoother. Hopefully that is awesome news. So if you're wanting to stream this game, it looks like you can keep the music on from what I'm seeing because a lot of the music is made specifically for Cyberpunk. 2077. Now, recently there was another character revealed, Ozob. You guys may have seen that video of mine. Check out my previous videos in the description below about heists, some new information about that, police forces, and a bunch of other cool news. But about this character, uh, this was one of the responses 
uh, uh, from, let's see, Roar Five Church, I think it is, who says this, stop spoiling cool characters like this one. And Cyberpunk replied, uh, I mean, excuse me, Philip Weber from Cyberpunk replied saying, if you knew how many cool ones we still have, never talked about. So there's a lot more cool characters hidden within Cyberpunk 2077. Of course, it's a massive game. So, you know, they're confident, even though they've been sharing these huge, sprawling gameplay demonstrations, they've been showing off the cars and vehicles. Uh, you know, they've been showing off the gangs and the city. They're confident there's still a ton more content in this game on offer beyond what they've shown. So yeah, that's really cool to know uh, going forward. Now, remember, leave your, your comment down below for a chance for it to be featured in upcoming videos because I love highlighting your comments. I'm gonna be going over that right now. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you want constant Cyberpunk 2077 news. But it's time to go over your top comments. Let's do this. So, RapidSpade6625 says, it's been a long time since I've watched your videos. Crazy how much more legit this channel looks. It's a great look and I'm all here for it. That was a up, top upvote comment on my most recent video. I couldn't believe it, but thank you all so, so much for the love and support on the recent videos. It's been absolutely incredible. And yes, I'm going to be covering the hell out of Cyberpunk 2077 when it finally releases. Uh, then this comes from Dragon Spirit, who says this, I have to admit, I like everything they're doing with the game so far. They definitely did a graphics upgrade on the game. Definitely looking forward to playing it when it comes out. The concerns people have, they shouldn't be worried uh, about anything. They're a reliable company. Not every company trying to get perfection out of their games. That's so true. CD Projekt Red really trying to seek that perfection. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Insectroid Games and other crap <laughs> says this. With this, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Demon Souls Remake, Watch Dogs Legion, and the new consoles next month is going to be very interesting. Yes, very interesting indeed. But, you know, now that Cyberpunk 2077 has been uh, moved to December, it looks like you're going to have some more time to play those games. And that's actually kind of the advantage here is that I was thinking, hmm, I'm going to have more time for Spider-Man. I really want to check out Watch Dogs Legion, which comes out here in a matter of a few days. And then I want to, I honestly want to check out uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Demon Souls. All these games, of course, because of the next gen, you know, PS5 is coming up here. So I was kind of like, hmm, I'm going to have more time for these games and Cyberpunk is being delayed. And then, of course, when Cyberpunk releases, hell yes, that's all I'm going to be playing. Honestly, it's going to be Cyberpunk 2077 all the way. And I'm going to have all the cool stuff here on open world games. So look out. It's going to be freaking awesome. But thank you all so much again for watching, for the love and support. Let me know what you make of this delay. I'm cool with it. It's only 21 days. We've waited many, many years. Many years of waiting. So I'm good. But thank you all for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.